If your car could drive itself, how would it see the world around it? We use our eyes to receive light and determine an object's distance, size, and direction. However, to endow an autonomous car with 3D vision is no easy feat. The most prevalent technology today is LiDAR, a type of 3D laser sensor. The basic structure of a LiDAR consists of a laser, a receiver, and a processor. The LiDAR emits laser beams in various directions. When the beam hits an object's surface, it reflects back and gets picked up by the receiver. By calculating the time it takes for the laser light to take a round trip, the processor determines the accurate distance to that object. This technique is called Time of Flight (TOF). With the aiming angle of the laser beam and the distance measurement, we can calculate the position of the target. Over time, we can build up millions of points of 3D data, outlining the physical world in great detail. This is a point cloud, LiDAR's 3D vision. For a car to drive autonomously in complex traffic situations, the LiDAR must refresh the point cloud at least 10 times per second. High-performance, solid-state LiDAR would require hundreds of thousands of transmit-receive modules to work simultaneously. Presently, a solution like this is very expensive to manufacture. Most LiDARs today have far fewer laser modules and use mechanical movements like spinning. For autonomous driving applications, the LiDAR should cover a wide field of view FOV. The most effective method is with a mechanical spinning LiDAR. The laser transmitters are aligned vertically to form a column of lasers. The motor spins the laser array to achieve a 360-degree FOV. However, due to the limited number of vertically aligned laser modules, the point cloud density will gradually degrade as the distance increases. To increase resolution and detection range, one solution is to add more transmit-receive modules to increase laser channel count. This is why one-dimensional spinning LiDAR tends to be large and expensive to align and calibrate. The autonomous vehicles must mount these bulky LiDAR on their roof, which is not ideal in automotive design. Another type of LiDAR, the hybrid solid-state LiDAR, uses two reflecting mirrors that rotate in limited angle ranges. This is the core scanning component of a hybrid solid-state LiDAR, formed by a spinning polygon mirror combined with a swinging mirror. The polygon mirror spins so that the laser scans horizontally, while the swing mirror deflects the laser beams vertically. As the beams constantly change direction, a single laser could achieve a similar scanning pattern as a mechanical LiDAR with multiple lasers. However, it takes an incredibly high speed to scan a full frame with just one laser beam. While a mechanical LiDAR spins 10 rounds per second, the scanning mirror of a single laser LiDAR has to spin hundreds or thousands of times. This shortens the lifetime of the mechanical parts. Another solution is to find integrated scanning solutions, such as MEMS modules, the core of which is a micrometer-level scanning mirror. Driven by thin cantilever beams, the mirror periodically rotates around the horizontal and vertical axis at high speed, reflecting the laser beams to change direction. However, the MEMS approach does not meet the LiDAR industry's ranging requirements. This is because a receiver needs to capture enough light to detect an object at far range. LiDAR receivers usually have an aperture of several centimeters, which requires MEMS mirrors to go from micrometers to centimeters. The thin cantilever beams are not designed to withstand high frequency, large vibrations from a centimeter-sized mirror. The MEMS durability question is an unsolved challenge. Furthermore, the cantilever beams have a limited rotation angle, which translates to a narrow FOV for each mirror. It takes multiple mirrors to piece together a wide FOV, causing distortions at the edges. Actually, all three types of LiDAR mentioned scan through mechanical structures. Since 2D rotating mirror and MEMS only have a few laser modules, they must use high-frequency mechanical scanning to achieve a wide FOV at the cost of their reliability. So how can LiDARs achieve both performance and reliability? Key LiDAR performance indicators are range capability, resolution, and accuracy. The main factors influencing performance are the LiDAR's laser channel count and signal processing capability and efficiency of the transmit-receive module. The transmit-receive module is largely determined by its capabilities in electronics, while the scanning method affects a LiDAR's reliability and relies on the robustness of the mechanical design. An optimized transmit-receive module with a simple, reliable scanning method the one-dimensional rotating mirror may be the best solution. 
It ensures the optimal balance between high performance and high reliability. The 1D rotating mirror solution has a simple scanning structure. It uses a single reflector that moves at low speed horizontally to change the light's direction and achieve a wide FOV. This is more reliable than a 2D scanning structure. The problem is, to acquire higher performance means stacking more laser channels in the vertical direction. If we continue to use traditional discrete design, the size and cost of LiDAR will increase accordingly. The ultimate answer to all of these questions is LiDAR ASIC. Currently, the most advanced ASIC technology in the industry can integrate hundreds of laser components closely and evenly on a single chip. On a highly integrated LiDAR chip, each circuit board can embed hundreds of laser channels, achieving high performance while decreasing size and cost. It also has outstanding ranging, resolution and accuracy, providing excellent point cloud images. The LiDAR ASIC greatly simplifies the complex assembly process, increasing manufacturing efficiency and consistency. Using ASICs also links the LiDAR industry with the pace of Moore's Law. As semiconductor production process advances, LiDAR will have more channels, higher performance and lower costs. For mass production vehicles, the 1D scanning hybrid solid-state LiDAR is an optimal solution. A highly optimized transmit-receive module can also be combined with different scanning methods. By pairing it with a 360-degree spinning platform, a new generation of highly integrated mechanical LiDAR is born. Such a combination brings infinite possibilities to the LiDAR industry. As ASIC technology progresses, LiDAR will continue to increase in performance and decrease in cost. We are confident that LiDAR will be an inevitable part of the future of mobility.